Sod named Daffrelin with a Sun TV News Alert. Police are investigating the death of a 56-year-old Dominican man who was shot dead during a home invasion on the night of Sunday, September 11th. According to police spokesman Kevin Clark, the man, Felicino Antonio Garcia Quinn, was near a house on Walter Cox Drive in Q-Town with another man and a woman around 8.06 p.m. when they were approached by an unknown man dressed in dark clothing with a mask over his face and gloves on. The man pointed a gun and forced them inside the house and demanded cash. While inside the house, there was a scuffle and Quinn received a single gunshot wound. The suspect then fled the scene and Quinn was later pronounced dead by Dr. Adolphus. Clark said a 26-year-old man is in police custody assisting with the investigation. However, he said it is still too early in the inquiry to determine whether this man was involved in the murder. Therefore, police are urging anyone with information about this incident to contact police and the information will be treated in the strictest of confidence. When Sun TV visited the scene on Sunday night, some of Quinn's relatives and friends were seen crying and in shock. In other news, on Friday, September 9th, 44-year-old Eddie Sarant appeared before the magistrate on Providenciales where he pleaded guilty to possession of controlled drugs. Acting on information last Wednesday, police officers responded to the Providenciales International Airport in search of Mr. Sarant who had just arrived from Grand Turk around 6.30 p.m. Officers detained and searched him and found a quantity of suspected cocaine wrapped in a transparent condom from his anal area. When questioned by officers about the findings, he made no reply. He was arrested and later charged. Mr. Sarant was sentenced to nine months in prison for being in possession of the 114 grams of cocaine Deportation recommended ordered after serving time. Police have arrested 33-year-old Jermaine Mizek on suspicion of causing death by dangerous driving. That's in connection with the double road fatality which occurred on Saldak Road around 11.12 p.m., killing 33-year-old Martin Field, a native of Barbados, and 26-year-old Carol Glinton from the Turks and Caicos Islands. The two young residents of the Turks and Caicos Islands were riding on a scooter which was involved in a collision with a white Nissan truck in the area near Butterfields Con Creek. Well, that's it for now from Sun TV News. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Todd Lean